A very warm welcome to the learning home. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss how to add and manage stamps in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. And in this tutorial, we are going to discuss about existing stamps, custom stamps, and some general features. And uh, here is our set of examples where we are going to work upon, and you will see the custom stamp option. The stamp option is here in case you are not seeing this option like in case you have closed this uh, that tab then you will not be able to see that stamp option so in order to bring that one what you can do you can use the comment tab and then it will see the stamp icon has appeared here you can also bring it same thing by tools and comment tab you will see the same thing has appeared again now we are going to work up our we are going to talk about existing stamps and we'll press this small icon and you will see the three types of exist existing stamps are there. First is the dynamic one. So I'm going to use the revised like this. I'm going to use from the sign in here like sign here. here. And the third one is the standard business where we can use the draft and you will see the three existing stamps are placed over there. Now we will talk about the how to create custom stamps and we are going to create a custom stamp using uh, existing uh, image file and if you have a different image file you can import those files as a custom stamps. So here I'm going to place the custom stamps and I'm going to press create here and it is asking me to identify where the file is located. So I'm going to browse it and bring my signature here. And We'll press OK and here is little additional uh, input. I can put the name of this. I'm just putting the name as a signature. And here it is asking in which category you want to store it. So I'm going to use the sign here category and pressing it OK. And now I will go to the sign here category and you will see the signature newly created is here. I'm going to put it, press it like this. Now we will talk about how to uh, remove the size and uh, move the the location of the stamp and resizing it. So for that when resizing what you can do you can see go to the corner and you will see the arrow pointing outboard and inboard. So what you can do you can just pull it inside and the stamp will become smaller. If you want to move it you will see a cross sign here just press it with the mouse once and then move it like wherever you want to move it. You can also create custom stamps from the clipboard. Imagine this is the clipboard you want to make a custom stamp. So what you can do, you can use the snipping tools here, new, and just make the screenshot of this one. And then what you can do, you can copy. When you copy, it will go to the clipboard and now we will close it and then we are going to use the paste clipboard image as a stamp tool. So when we press it like this, you will see a stamp icon. I'm just dropping it here. You will see the device. Same thing has appeared over here. If you want to again resize it or if you want to move it, you can move it like this. Now you can edit the custom uh, stamp name like uh, I'm going to the custom stamp and going to the manage option and you will see this signature I'm going to edit so I'm going to press edit and you will see uh, the same box has appeared which we have seen initially so here I'm going to change the name signature my name and I'm going to change the category from sign in here to standard business and press it ok now it will go to the different category like standard business signature so i'm going to again show you same thing you can also uh, indicate the status of stamp like suppose this is stamp i have set a status as accepted this is stamp i have selected a status as rejected or completed or cancelled something so the advantage of placing the status is that if in case you have multiple stamps, so you can 
short it you can filter it so here i'm going to use the short and filter option i'm going to press it here and you will see the various option various status option user if you if it is done by multiple users their name will appear here so here in my case it is appearing my name and if i'm going to filter with this accepted just press it like this apply only the accepted stamp stamp will be as shown over here suppose if you want to see it all you can select all or you can clear all it will bring all the stamps together now we will talk about how to add current stamps to favorite like suppose some stamps you are using day-to-day -day basis or more than often what you can bring that stamps to the favorite so i'm going to put up any stamp first like uh, I'm putting my signature here and before putting the pushing the stamps to the favorite you have to bring it and then only you can identify as a custom stamp as a as a favorite stamp so here I put it and then I'm going to add current stamps to favorite and when I have added current stamps to favorite you will see it has appeared over here if you want to remove the current stamps from favorite what you can do you can remove current stamps from favorite as well so when you remove it it will go away from the favorite stamps you can see on the approved remains as a favorite as a favorite stamp uh, now we will talk about how to make properties default if you have to find that some certain stamp format is the perfect one and we want to follow the same pattern in the future what you can do you can make the properties default and you can do by make properties default from here or go to the properties and check option make properties default here and then press it ok we can also delete the stamps and for the deleting what we can do we can right click here and delete we can also delete it with the delete key option which I have done it right now but imagine a situation where you want the stamps not to be deleted so easily what you can do you can lock this stamp and for that what you can do right click there and go to the properties and select the locked icon and when you press lock icon you will see see a lock icon has appeared here now you cannot delete because the delete option is missing here you cannot delete from the delete key as well and one more thing you cannot move it you cannot make it smaller as well so everything is restricted actually but if you look at the others one you can do whatever you want right now you still see the delete option which i can delete easily this one not but finally if you have decided to delete this what you can do you can unlock it first you have to uncheck the lock option go to the properties and press uncheck locked icon and now you will be able to see the delete option here so with this we have came to an end of the, this tutorial and hope it has given you an idea about how to add and manage stamps in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. How you have found the video, please do write in the comment section and if you have liked it, please do like and share. For more videos, please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will be notified about the upcoming videos. With this I will say goodbye. And see you soon.